In experiment 11, we learned that some liquids are heavier than others. Let's build on this concept by asking this question. Can salt change the density or, or make water heavier? To answer that question, let's take and add a cup of water to our glass here. And now let's take a piece of carrot and put it in our glass of water. As you can see, the carrot sinks to the bottom of our glass of water. But what does this observation tell us? Well, it tells us that a carrot is more dense than water. It sank to the bottom. What we want to do now is we want to add some salt to our glass of water and we want to see if the salt changes the density of the water. And we're going to note any changes in the density of the water by, by looking at our piece of carrot. So let me take a teaspoon, and I'm going to take a teaspoon of pickling salt, which is probably a, a better salt to use for this experiment, because pickling salt should not make the water cloudy. Table salt may make the water cloudy and more difficult to see the carrot. Okay, so there goes the first teaspoon of salt, and some of the salt is dissolving in the water, or has dissolved. And note that the piece of carrot is still on the bottom of our glass. Let's add another teaspoon of salt and see what it does. A little more salt is dissolving in the water but still the carrot is resting on the bottom of the glass. Let's add still another teaspoon. So this is three teaspoons of salt. More salt is starting to dissolve. Notice that the carrot is starting to lift off the bottom of the glass a little bit. Now that's three teaspoons of salt. Let's go with four. As you can see, the carrot is starting to lift even more in the glass of water. The density of the water in our glass is changing because salt is dissolving in the water and changing the density of water. Let's go with another teaspoon of salt and see if we can get the carrot to rise to the top. Let's see if we can change the density of the water enough so that the carrot actually rises to the top. And as you can see, it looks like that last teaspoon just about brings the carrot to the top. Let's just try one more. And I believe with this last teaspoon of salt, the density of the water should be greater than the carrot, and the carrot should float on the surface. And it looks like the carrot is very close. Let's take this experimental result and try to, to answer an observation that maybe some of you have made. Did you know that it's easier to float in the ocean than it is in fresh water? Well, you know that the ocean contains salt dissolved in it. This dissolved salt increases the density of water. Salt water is more dense in fresh water, so just like the piece of carrot, you're going to float more easily in the salt water. Let me ask you this question, and I want you to think about this. The Great Salt Lake in Utah is a big body of water that's even saltier than the ocean. Do you think that you will float more easily in the Great Salt Lake than in the ocean? <laughs> 